Nini, everyone. Let's summon some spirits, shall we? Come at a gangster style. Alright, so here's the thing. Apparently, I've attracted the attention of the man only known as a call for an uprising. Or rather, I shouldn't say I have. Blue has in his pagan archive of dumb fuckery. <laughs> I will leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. So basically what he did is he saw a Call for an Uprise's new channel trailer. It's kind of funny to be honest. The Baphomet wearing the diaper and the fact that it has boobs. I mean like those are that's not only hilarious, but it's accurate, okay? So, not a lot of people get that right, especially the crazy Christians like yourself. So, um, you know, hey, <laughs> good to see ya. Um, so anyway, this motherfucker over here, he decided to threaten me. At least, I kind of think that's what he was doing, saying that the burning times are gonna come back and all that. Um, you guys, like I said, can go check it out for yourself. Blue is more than what, um more than likely gonna keep this up only because he probably thinks it's hilarious and you know since a call for an uprising doesn't think we're really worthy of probably uh making a copyright claim against as he stated now he is correct we truly don't have any kind of fair usage here <coughs> excuse me uh only because his video was never really specifically addressed, it's just kind of re-uploaded. Now, uh, me showing, like, the images saying, hey, you know, the tits and the diaper is hilarious and accurate, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> and that would be fair use, okay? N just re-uploading the video is not really fair use. So he does kind of have a point there when he says this. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know, just based on this, this dude's comments, you can really tell he's either one of two people, if not both. And those two people, as Aaron Ra most famously says, are either the deceivers or the deceived. Because a Christian can not be one or the or a Christian has to be one or the other, okay? Because at a certain point after you read the Bible, you have to either be dumb enough to believe the lies and perpetuate them. <laughs> Or you have to be um, on the level of understanding, you know what, this is a lot of horse shit, but it reeks in a lot of money. There's a lot of money to be pulled in. Okay? So, uh, <laughs> you are either the deceived or the deceiver. You can be both. You can be deceived and a deceiver. And I think this person, this call for an uprising dude, may be both. Uh, but you are obviously one of two people, okay? And yes, you know what? This is a cold sore. It's probably from all that dick I suck. Okay? <laughs> Fuck you. I Seriously, dude. I've seen your videos. I can tell exactly what kind of person you are. You are the kind of person to be hugging his Bible oh so close, just thumping away at it, just being like, oh Jesus, Jesus, smite these sightness, Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, whoop, poop myself. That's the kind of dude you are. And that's the kind of dude you'll always be, no matter how big or no famous you get. Now, YouTube is going on this crazy kind of rant, um, kind of purge thing going on where it's deleting all the conspiracy theorists type channels and all of the uh, hateful channels and stuff like that. And your channel is kind of big and kind of hateful and kind of, you know, crazy conspiracy theorists. So I wouldn't be surprised if your channel gets hit next, dude. Good fucking luck. Now, uh, I'm not saying go and report him. I'm not saying go and deplatform this guy. I, I'm really not. But you are kind of violating YouTube's terms of service with the whole hate speech stuff. So, um, you know, you guys are your own people. If you happen to go and deplatform him, de -platform him then so be it. But, um, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to go and do that. Uh, so, yeah, that's all for tonight, guys. Sanate.